What's up, internet? So it's coming up to the festive jolly Christmas season, and as much as I love this season with all of my heart, no one's as festive as us. The retail world turns into a vicious, vicious place. Anyone else who works in retail this summer year can feel my pain because there are just customers that just enter into your life at this time of year and it's just not jolly. It's not jolly at all. And so I thought I'd throw together a video demonstrating the types of customers that I encounter on a regular basis. Customer number one, you've got your paranoid. Hey, how are you today? I'm just looking. <laughs> That's the weird way to feel. It is so annoying when people respond like this because now I look like an idiot that just got rejected for genuinely being nice and wanting to know how you were. Contrary to popular belief, I am not trying to corn you into buying something. Honestly, the way people respond to me, it's like I've approached them like, Mama for a do it, do it. Like, calm down. Customer number two, you've got your time waster. This is the customer that you spend 20 plus minutes with, only for them to tell you, well, Thanks for your time. We're gonna think about it. Come back later. Catch up with you later. I am never gonna see you again, and we both know it. I mean, it's fair enough if a customer wants to actually think about their purchase. I do it too. But if three minutes in to me telling you about this product, you decide that you're actually not interested, just tell me. Because I don't want to spend a copious amount of time with you in this product when I could be serving someone else who actually wants to know about that product. Customer number three, your non-believer. This is the customer that you were sure that you don't have the product that they're looking for in stock. So you're sure there's nothing else you can do? No, I'm so sorry, there's no way for us to get that product for you. After reassuring them that there is nothing that you can do to get it for them, you get back to work. But three minutes later, you find them asking your co-worker the exact same question. Oh hell no! They're gonna tell you the exact same thing that I just did. Please don't waste their time as well. I'm not gonna lie though, I get quite a bit of satisfaction when they get turned down a second time. <laughs> no, I'm sorry miss, unfortunately we can't get that stock in for you. Customer number four, your mistaken identity. This is the type of customer that will come to you asking for a specific item in stock. You proceed to show them everything you have matching that description, but they're unsatisfied with everything that you show them, so part ways and apologize. However, they continue to look around the store and then they approach you at the counter exclaiming that you did have what they were looking for. Yay! And in their hands is nothing what they described. You did have what I was looking for. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> Silly me. Nope. Not my mistake. Your mistake. I could have helped you all along if you'd just given me the right description, but now I look like an idiot. Cool. Lucky last number five is not actually a customer, but instead a boss. Now I will gladly cover a shift or pick up extra hours without hesitation because I cannot say no to extra cash. But when it's the end of the day and you've dealt with every previously mentioned customer, your sanity is compromised. Hey, actually, before you go, can you stay back an extra hour? Let me go home. It's fine. I wanna come home. It's all good. I'll get Stacy. All right, see ya. The struggle is so painfully real. So that was a glimpse of working the retail world for you. For your sake, I hope you never encounter customers like that. But for those of you who do, thank you for understanding my pain. But I hope you liked that video. So if you did, make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and all that jazz. And I'll see you next time. Bye. I blend in with my pillow. Jess or pillow? Can't tell. Too white.